Good morning, everyone. Chuck B here and Monkey Butt. Do you know what it is? And do you know what to do about it? Hey guys, good morning. Um, but I had a question yesterday and it made me think, you know, there's a lot of little stuff involved with just working outside in general. Not, I mean, some of it might be just lawn care. But there's some uh, things out there that are uh, little tips, I guess, that'll make your day go a little bit easier, a little bit better, make you not hurt so much maybe that's how I should say it and I didn't really think of some of these things until I was asked a question the other day that I thought everybody knew about and it was a friend of mine who works outside he knew I mean he's not outside <clears throat> excuse me outside as much as I am and he's still having the issue and he wasn't sure what I did about it because he knew I had to have deal with it and what I'm talking about is you guys might know it as monkey butt I've always called it hamburger butt it's when you walk and you're sweating all day and with for lack of better terms you know we all know I'm not really PC anyway to an extent F and Google ads ads I'm still dealing with it try to get it fixed this weekend uh, anyway when your legs are you're doing this all day and right in here you know in your butt crack right where your where your thighs are rubbing um, sweat building up heat building up you start getting friction rash um, how do you guys deal with it I know a lot of guys put powder on um, however powder for me makes it worse uh, it just makes the skin drier and more friction for me I, I'm not a I know some guys you know like in the military when we do PT we'd wear uh, spandex and that'll keep you but man I tell you what mowing all day in spandex gets your junk hot so uh, I'm not a not a fan of the spandex route um, what I am a fan of however and what I have found and I use it in the military too um, body glide guys body glide this is not a paid advertisement or an endorsement or do I have a code or anything. I just use the stuff. It's an anti-chafe balm and I'm sure there's there's lots of other brands of it out there. I find this at uh, sports stores like Big Fives, anywhere where they sell running shoes. Uh, you're probably going to find a little section of this right here. And for the ladies, they make a pink one. I don't know the difference. Maybe it's just the color. Maybe it's got a scent. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've even used it up under my arms, man. Uh, that that's more for when I run. But anyway, you just it's just like a little deodorant stick, um, except it's not deodorant. And you put that on your uh, your problem areas, and oh my goodness, does it help? It will even help after you have a problem area even when I come in at the day even if I've like yesterday Wednesdays is a big push day for me it's just not all push 90 degrees now so it's hot even with shorts it doesn't stop the butt sweat um, so I, even when I get home I was having a little bit of a rash issue and I I put that on it helps it uh, recover better because when you're at home in the evening it takes away that that friction rub and gives it a, a glide let your body glide so anyway that's a quick tip if you guys are dealing with the road rash monkey butt hamburger butt whatever you call it uh, give a body glide or some kind of anti chafing stick a try and uh, I would almost guarantee that you would be quite pleased with the result so you guys just keep killing it out there and uh, we're coming into the heat and just deal, you know, drive through it guys. Talk to you later.
Yeah, we are laying in the place of the